Good day, lords and ladies of the internet. I am your host, the Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I welcome you back to the darkest dungeon, where today we are going to be spider-killing. That is our focus, that is our goal. We are going to be going in and murdering all of the spiders. And to start that off, we're going to be going to kill Astral Spider Queen A. I know, it's a very inventive name that we have to de define them by a letter. Anyway, who do we have with us? We have Blonder, our falconeer, and the only person in the roster affected by the Crimson Curse. No, one of two people affected by the Crimson Curse. So, to prevent that, we're giving her the Ancestor's Vintage, and then a tempting goblet to drink it out of. Enjoy thy wine of blood, Blonder. Then, we have Turkey. It, our... the sisters, to act as our sub-healer and sub-damage dealer. And, who, and they are equipped with their Haunting Scroll, which they keep very nicely in their little box. Then we have Daniel, our big, mighty bounty hunter, who has got his wo his special wounding helmet on to, to make sure he does even more damage, as well as his butch butchered bird trinket hanging from round his neck. He knows what he's after, and he knows the quirk he needs to go get that. Then we have our newly named Martyr, because I figured I use him so much, and I'm allowed to name a character, so I choose Lazarus for our Martyr. Because Lazarus is all about rebirth, and what's more rebirthing than the man who just heals everyone from being hit? Yeah, this is a thing. So, we're going, let us begin. This shouldn't be a problem, because this is only a level 1 quest, after all. I also love how I've gotten to the point where I can just buy everything and not have to worry about my money, thanks to the bank. I make more money from interest than I do from spending it. Literally, I have been pulling people in and out of the... What am I call it? Stress relief things, the quirk things, and I still have too much money. Be careful, astral spiders can dimensionally summon additional spiders. Ooh, that's a mechanic. And of course it's a blind dungeon. Of course it's a blind dungeon. Of course it is. Oh yeah, before I forget it, Blonder, drink your blood. Ah! So there is things like mad men over in this section of the dungeon, is there? Hmm. That was not very nice. You know the best thing about this team? Other than Blonder, it can basically work from any position. Because, surprisingly, the... What am I call it? Marta can work anywhere in the first three positions. Daniel can work in the first three positions. Blonda can work in the first two, and then has an ability to get back to the last... I mean, the last two, and has an ability to get back to the last two if she needs it. And then, in addition to that, you've got Turkey that can just work from anywhere. Only issue might be how much stress Turkey causes to the party. And the fact I didn't bring any additional blood to feed Blonder, because I didn't think I would need to. I should know better by now. Alright, Mr. Lazarus. Give everyone a nice big mega heal. Turkey may be able to cause stress on us, but it is nowhere near enough stress for us to in any way, shape, or form have to worry. Especially if we can crit. Ah, magnificent, Daniel. Magnificent. Now, if there's anything I need from these places, it is most... That was the weirdest looking path ever. It is most certainly... Heirlooms. 
My heirlooms are lacking. Especially as I did just buy a bunch of buildings before this. No. Middle finger. Go away. Stay away. Alright, guys. Here's our fight. We know it was going to happen. All we have to do is simply murder it. Which I don't think should be the hardest thing in the world. I mean, you're like the top tier people. I mean, last week they were level 6, yes. But I wouldn't have called them the top tier people. You guys are the top tier people. And this is still a level 1 dungeon. And the martyr is very slow. No stress for us. I mean, we may be able to cure it dead easily without a worry, worry at all in the world, but still, no stress for us. Ooh, you resisted the blight. Ooh, yeah, you're basically immune to blight. I didn't see that. Actually, I just realized I named you Lazarus when you have an ability called Lazarus' Gift. Never has there been a more appropriate name for a, de for a Darkest Dungeon character. He is literally Lazarus, giving you his gift. Pristine Fountain. Give stress relief. What stress? I brought a real team this time. I'm not underestimating you spiders again. I don't care if this is a level 1 dungeon. I underestimated you all last time. As I say, this is not happening again. Stop trying to collect gold, Parafox. You literally, 100%, do not need it. The bank will give you all the gold you need for thanks to, for your investments. Ah, hello there. None of you may live. And you certainly, most certainly, may not infect the martyr. The martyr requires his stuff. Well, you're dead, and you're almost dead. You know what? I want to watch them burn. I like watching these things burn. Oh, you crit healed yourself. Nice. Um, there's not really much you can do right now other than... Oh, I suppose turkey. You could stress heal turkey. Instead of heal, to be selfish and heal yourself. You know what? You're the martyr. You're not allowed selfishness. No matter how weird it might seem, minuscule it is. We're dealing with a lot of enemies right now. Especially for only a medium dungeon. Why is the fungal snatch scratcher at the very back out of interest? How did he wind up at the back? I still love how uh, well, I have no blasted idea where the hell I'm going. More annoyances. That's the most annoying bit. Now it's no longer so more annoying. Because that is tolerable. Don't you yes, you need a stress you need some stress healing there. That's what we like to see. <gasps> ah, you're doing it on the person who's already infected. That's fine. What about you? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, maybe I stand corrected. Maybe not so fine, but... Yeah. So now I got two invitations to the Countess. You know, I have been wondering what I should do in Darkest Dungeon lately. And seeing the Countess would not be the worst idea. Oh, there's the Astral Queen. Well, I was expecting this to be harder to find her. Um, she's pretty, she's pretty immune to being moved. Okay, fair. Dimensional protection. Ooh. Now, aren't you a little annoyance? Can you get blighted? You can get blighted. That actually kills you. That actually just full-blown kills you in a couple of turns. Huh. I mean, I know I wasn't expecting this to be worth anything, but... You're not reposting very well right now, are you? 
Mr. Martyr. Why is that? The bearer of sin is such a stupid ability. Transfer everything. Clear stun. Clear mark. Stress heal. Healing. It's just stupid. Hey guys, you want to kill this queen faster? I mean, it is an option for us. Summon Sword Spider. That shockingly did more damage than I thought it would. You know what? Kill that Sword Spider. Or leave it alive. Okay, if you just want to prove your superiority to them even further, I guess you can just leave it alive. I mean, we're, we're running in the dark right now, guys. I mean, I know it's pathetic and weak, but still. Ow! That hurt! There she goes. Alright! We're done. That was easy. What's this? Aquatic perfume bottle of summoning one. Enchanted spider heirloom. A delicate... A delicate... Enchanted bottle contains a venom, a venomous pheromone. On friendly skill, chance to summon a charmed qua aquatic spider. Ah, oh. all right. I'll just abandon the food for that. Um, I mean, the dungeon does spread out more. At the very least, I should probably take the food first. Doesn't look like the, uh, what am I call it's coming this time. The way yep. Is lit, the no talent. Clear. Well, that's disappointing. Alright, guys. Well, congratulations. That was a successful dungeon, wasn't it, Alistair? Okay, yes, I know it was in no way any form of challenge. But, come on, Alistair. They still did better than the last team we sent after spiders. Okay, yes, the last team wasn't the most... What am I call it? Damn! I wanted to take Turkey out everywhere today, but that she needs that quirk. You know, I find this pretty funny, Alistair. Turkey has the new Tranquil Mind ability, which was, which is one of the Sunward Isles and quirks. Now, this quirk is very powerful, but you know what else she has? Steady, minus 10% stress, and natural string. Basically, what that the what both of those quirks combined into you know what i feel like getting rid of the nap the the gifted quirk in order to make sure she gets keeps the tranquil quirk because she needs as much stress negative as possible i mean given how the what i'm gonna call it works yeah oh so now i can go kill astral spider c Interesting. S immune to Sword Spider Slay ability. It has a literal ability called Slay? Why the bloody hell does the Black Swordsman have a trinket called Puck? I mean, I've never watched Berserk or anything, so I don't know if this is actually a thing. But why does it basically... Give him 50% additional healing, 50% stress healing increase. Like, I'm comparing that to Bellaflit here, and I'm just thinking the puck is better. But, despite how much I may want to take them out and do that sort of thing, I did say today is the spider day. Meaning, today is the day... We're gonna be murdering all the spiders. This time we have Zarek with us instead. Oh, this is a long dungeon, is it? Oh. Huh. Do I want a secondary healer? You know what? No. I don't care about a secondary healer. The martyr will do fine by himself. In the end, we've got tons and tons of food as well. And in the end... That's what matters. Now, there didn't seem to be that many lootable objects last time. But who cares? We might still get some all the same. So, everyone, let's take a, let's take a vial of blood just in case. 
I hope you're all ready, for it's time for us to set out. And let me just grab two of these. Just don't know which two yet. In case you're wondering what those were, those are the things the Enigma character can generate. And that one of the special buildings I got was the Enigma's building, which generates those fragments on a day on a weekly basis, meaning we can send them off to use in the dungeon. And you want to know the key thing about them? Well, it lasts the entire quest. Now our martyr has 82 HP. Because, Christ, he needed more. Why did you suddenly take stress then, Martyr? It's the beginning of the dungeon. It's not that bad. Okay, maybe it's that bad. Man, you don't see vampires for ages, and then you just see, oh, nothing but vampires. Obliterated. Yeah? That was obliterated. We are Apex, you know? That's a pretty decent description. How did you not kill? You had, like, a 90% chance to just ki flat out kill it. You know what, Mr. Mr. Martyr? I may have been wrong about having to worry about you not uh, take it. Become. Oh, goody. Oh goody, we got lucky, because the martyr cannot take, would not survive. The martyr is the most likely thing in existence to be to, you know, be, be diseased. He does not have any resistances to disease at all. Gladiator and two fungal thingies. Interesting. I best, I guess the question is, which do I consider to be the most damaging? Or rather, this is armor piercing, so Eradicated. there we go. Daniel, seriously, stop letting them live. You're a bounty hunter, not a fight for the fun of it hunter. You need to kill to get the bounty. All right, Daniel, can you kill this time? God, yes, you can. You know. You may not always want to kill, but when you do kill, you certainly do kill. Destroyed. I don't think that would have killed normally if it wasn't for the fact it was marked. Come on, Daniel, you're meant to be better than that. You know what? Let's head up north. Who knows what we'll find this way. Daniel, Daniel has no problem disarming the trap. Maybe we need to head this way in order to get to the get to the boss. Who the hell knows? It's a long dungeon. Change as seen places. by the fact they're everywhere. Of course Zeric gets sent to the front. Of course they crit. Of course he goes first. Also, it's gonna be one of those days again. Yes, one of those days where I hate everything because just everything starts to go wrong. All right, are you done re and ready to kill? Good, kill the bug. That's not a kill. That's a kill. Embrace the dark, you say. Well, we both, you managed to miss us both, meaning you are bloody screwed now. Why are you alive? Grouping swipe. Mr. Martyr, you need to stop dodging. Yes, so you can do that. One dead mushroom. One dead hag. Just one left thing left to kill. Can Daniel do it? No, he can't. He had too much protection. That's fine. I didn't expect him to be able to kill it, actually. But I do expect it dead this round. Because of the fact, well, you're all very, very quick. And this thing is very, very slow. See? Nice. Dead. Job done. All good. Now we're fighting a blighted giant. Well then. Something tells me we ought to mark that thing. Just so that we can start obliterating it. 
That stress is not very nice. Yes, Alistair. I know I say the same stuff all the time. Hey, we stunned the giant. That's the main. That's a really important thing. I was about to say, what do I do more damage with? Because it's stunned now. But it's still the headhunter. Mr. Giant, I am so sorry, but you are not surviving another round. A victory. I didn't expect Blonder to be the one to stop you surviving another round, though. I will confess. As the... Wow. We dodged. And now we're basically fully stress healed as well. You know... It's at times like this, you easily can say, just because a mod was created back when the game first came out, doesn't mean it's any less overpowered. This was a dead end. Of course it was a dead end. But you know what? The dead end is fine, because we got all the food in the world from coming this way. And food is important. Food allows you to keep your belly full. And who doesn't love having a full belly? Communists. That was a joke that had to be made and you can't blame me for making it. Oh, the room is empty. That's actually surprising. Is this gonna be a straight line dungeon? Can it be a straight line dungeon? Well. That's not very nice. And you're dead now. So, I guess it doesn't matter that it's not very nice. How much damage does this deal? Five to six. That's not much at all. Oh, but this one has a potential chance to kill you as well as damage that. But this one's got a near guaranteed chance to at least kill the adolescent one. Yeah. That needed to happen. Oh no! You just healed yourself! I must burn the corruption from my body! Bye bye, spider! From our lands. Oh, more food? Ah, but most importantly, crests. Crests are important for heirlooms. So many buildings require crests. Do I want to go straight down, or do I want to go to the right? The right is clearly the bonus path. So I think we want to go straight down. Hello there, outlaws! Who the bloody hell do you think you are? You know, I think you're pretty damn pathetic, honestly. Because of the fact you're basically completely... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that hurt. I'll give you credit, that hurt. And because that hurt, I gotta murder your friend now. And because because that hurt, I gotta heal ourselves right now. And because 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 that hurt, I gotta hurt your other friend. And because 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 that hurt, because I gotta murder you. Oh sorry, I've gotta properly rip you to murder shreds. I, ooh, a ruby. A ruby, Alistair. I can trade a sapphire for a ruby. Rubies are nice. They're red. Like the color of blood. A giant and two other things. Interesting. I guess it's a case of, can we stun him? And no, we can't. He resisted the stun. How cruel of him. I'm sure he'll be dead next round, though. And I got crit, because of course I got crit. How the hell did you dodge? You're not meant to be able to dodge. Yeah, that's dead. That's kind of dead. I mean, it's got 7 HP. If I gave the martyr one of his attack abilities, he'd be able to kill it. Ah, it's a glass spider. Now that's annoying. No one likes the glass spiders. Especially me. 
Concentration. You're getting pretty stressed, aren't you? I think you need to tear out your blood. Because for some reason, that relieves you of stress. Now, how am I going to sort out these heirlooms? It might be time to dump the ruby. To get more of those. But then I need deeds. How much do I need deeds? I'm not sure how much I need deeds, actually. I don't think I need deeds. Either way, that many deeds can probably be traded out for any crystals as I generate during my trips to the far to the farmstead. Hello, things which I'm actually threatened by. Can't touch this. Nice dodge. Alright, next up. It's a big waste of this ability. Because I could do it on that, likely doing a ton of damage, but this thing needs to die. The mosquitoes are the most likely thing to cause... What am I call it? Vampirism. So you got to make sure they're all gone. Oh, really? Yep. Nice resist. All in it. Because it just had to try and prove me wrong, didn't it? That's what you get for trying to prove me wrong. Snort indeed, Daniel. Daniel, you get one attack. You did, you did its HP and damage. I expect no less from you, Daniel. This dungeon's too big. Which possible way am I meant to go? I'm leaning towards down. We're gonna head down. Ah! The glass spider. I didn't kill the glass spider. That's an annoying little spider. I killed that spider! That's a less annoying spider. You know what? How much can you murder? Not enough. Kaboom. Cytokinesis. I hate you. There's a reason I hate you and your species. That's an annoying crit. Well, I guess we win. Oh, look! I get... Wow! Wow, if that's a... Wow, with that, I kind of actually just want to... I want to put... Zerik... I want to put Zerik against the... Mother. Considering that. Just because he benefits a lot from just... Being anywhere. And of course this is a dead end. You know what? I think it's time for a campsite. Why? Just so that we get... Use the resources and gain the inventory space. Also, so that can happen. Bring on the Talon! They've come for their toll. I am prepared. I should certainly hope you are. Boo! Oh my, yes, you were definitely prepared, Blonda. I have never seen anyone so prepared. Boom! That's another one gone and dead. Does Zerik bypass stealth? Yes, he does! With two of his abilities. Oh, crap. He's going to hit the girl no matter what. How? What's the point of having it bypass stealth if it's an AoE ability? Either that way, this one can stun, meaning... Because it can stun, she can't do her ability in order to guard. So... Yeah! We win! Nice job, guys. Thank you, madam. We have saved you. You you need not repay us. Although it would be nice of you if you could. You know what? What's up this direction, then? Considering... Two different ways. Sure. Wolves! Hmm. Interesting. Snipe, but no kill. Good shot in the leg. And then just a mighty he knee bash between them all. Wow, good job, Zarek. Ooh. Interesting. Is this the spiders? No. This is just regular spiders. 
Uh... Well, I guess you can take out the aquatic one in the back. You can go and hit the, sp the sword one. That one can be a little pest and actually get an attack. That one can be equally annoying and actually get an attack. And then Zeric can come along and AoE all three of them down? Maybe? You get one of them. If he does that. And then he'll get to kill that one too. You know what? Sure, do that. I love how you stunned it. Kaboom. If only stunning it could stop its glass explosion ability. You got shuffled. Ah, that's what happened. That was a big heal. Reminds me of me doing this. The martyr's crit, crit is actually too high. It is actually too high. There goes the spider. Ooh, two jades. Sure, I'll take those. I probably shouldn't, because I really don't need to. I don't have a holy water on me. There's no point to that altar. Well, that's a lot of different ways I could go. This is a treasure room with no repercussions. Those things are always kind of nice. And kind of unique to the spiders. So you know what? I like the spiders for their lack of repercussions for these things. Now, what am I going to trade? You know what? I'm going to trade the three shovels. Because I don't think I need seven shovels. We've had one, two obstacles in total so far. Another one of those Kuros without any holy water. I had to dump that on. I had to dump that early on, didn't I? A slavering ghoul. Well, I know what's going to die. Stay dead. You get marked. You may get an attack, but you're not going to have much of one. Okay, maybe you're going to have a bit more of one than I thought you would. Your crit is too high. You have crit too many times this dungeon, Marta. As much as critting, your critting may be very nice and beneficial for us, you are doing it way too much for what I think is actually good. Should I just feed you blood, blood and be done with it? No, I won't. I'll take the holy water because of the amount of crappy things we've seen. What is with this that this weird roundabout dungeon? Huh, another obstacle. I'm impressed. More Change glass glasses. spiders. Oh, you're all surprised. Oh, that's not good. But if you shift yourself back like that, we're all good. You do that. Good. And either way, we're still all back into position. So, you know what? I shouldn't be surprised I didn't kill. It doesn't actually have the highest ability to kill. She's just gotten very lucky. He's just gotten very lucky with all of his abilities up to this point. Explode! Explode at us! I fear thee not, spider! You may explode all you wish. It shall save you not. That's not. It is! That ability caused an awful lot of stress. Good crit. Can Daniel crit also? Apparently he can! That big thing did nothing to the might of my team. More scouting, so there's even more ahead of us. A map of the area is found on the map. Nothing changed. Are you telling me this is the entire map? Because if this is the entire map, this is a pretty small, la long dungeon. Especially compared to what your Change other places. long dungeon was. Stop that. I love, I literally love how two of our people can basically work from anywhere and we're still struggling because of the fact of 
where they're mo being m moving from. Embrace the dark. I would much rather not. Why? You are dying next turn. You, good chap, need some stress relief, Mr. Martyr, because you're very stressed right now. Which, because you're also marked, I also know they're only going to go for you. Although they might not anymore, because I'm not sure if he can actually attack anything other than the front line. Ha ha, you missed. No marking on us will you do this day. Damn it, Blonder, I expect the 11. Now, can you please knock him back far enough so that, yes, Daniel can attack him. Boom. That's what we need. How big is this dungeon? I wish we had more scouting. Because with more scouting, I would at the very least be able to tell where the hell we are. Can I even take more heirlooms? I mean, I could dump the holy water. But... We got those things back there. Is it actually a negative quirk any of you are really bad with? I mean... Not really, I guess? So I'm gonna dump you for the portraits rather than the crests, because the portraits are rarer and you can't trade for portraits for some stupid reason. Why can I trade for crests, deeds, and busts, but not for a portrait? A treasure with a combat? What is this heresy? How the hell are we going to summon a glass spider? Purely out of interest, considering. But thank you for revealing the fact you do summon stuff. Because, now that we know that, we know you need to die. You know, you really do forget how powerful you can actually get in this if game. Only treasure could staunch the flow of All right, fine, I'll get rid of the anti-venom. I'll put my faith in the bloody martyr. I mean, we're already on the verge of discovering that we've gone entirely the wrong way in the entire first place. And that neither of these directions are going to contain, contain the, the queen. Haven't we? In Probably. Maybe not if it's going to be that finagly about how it's going to wind up. Hello, outlaws. Could you at least let me get a ch have a chance to apply my... What am I call it first? My gift? Okay. The gift has been applied. Do it, your AoE attacks, all you want now. You just did something he wants, to be pushed back as far as possible. The blood, you must have the blood. You know what, Blonder? Have the blood. You are Fury, you will drink bl blood from your enemies. I'm sure you will. I have now worked out what the advantage to the Ancestor's Vintage is, other than the usual kind of stuff. And that is the fact you can stay in bloodlust form for so much longer. You know, there's a reason I don't like long dungeons. And that reason is that things normally end before we get a chance to do anything with them. Sorry, that is entirely the wrong thing of what I was trying to say. I don't even know how I came up with what I just said. What's the problem with them is the fact that you don't get enough inventory space for them. Because you get just as much loot, technically, but no inventory to deal with them. You know what? You really need to heal yourself. As much as heal that might actually have be been a bad move to do, considering... Actually, what am I talking about bad move to do? You get 80% protection, which is literally the cap. Nice job, Blonder. Wonderful crit. Wonderful. What the hell was that noise? You know what else? 
I can dump the blood now. Because fat chance that she that blonder is going to become craving this dungeon. I might encounter more of these things though, which is annoying. And that surprised thing actually just helped us because he's meant to be in the back anyway and I just forgot to push him there. So the game said, you're surprised, but don't worry. What that actually means is that we're just shifting you back to the way you're meant to be. Thank you, game. Most kind of you. Six emeralds. When I actually have no physical purpose for emeralds. Where the bloody hell is this bleeding spider? I was about to say, are you going to tell me that's going to connect literally to the wall? Wield explorer, a replaced mankind hater. That's not really that good. You know what, guys? I think it's a good time for a firewood for some firewood. Ah, more sh more flock people are are coming, are they? Well, let them come. We care not for your flock. Your flock are going to be flockless. Why are you alive? You should not be alive. At least you're useless. Well, if I murder this man, I can now pull this one. And uh, now there's not much else I can do. You Mr. Archer, do you want to be kind and run away? I mean, there's literally nothing else I can do right now. Like, at all. Because I'm not touching the girl. Good man! Good man! Survive another day! Leave the ma- Leave the lady to us! Don't worry, we'll do all the things you are going to do to her. Obviously, I mean love, protect, and cherish her. What the hell is one of those doing here? What the hell are two of those doing here? And you've gone back to passive, have you? Have you? That didn't take as long as I thought it would. Where the hell is this spider? You know what, Mr. Martyr? You are a martyr. So mark yourself. Make sure they hit you, and only you. That's not hitting here, the martyr. That's technically hitting the martyr. That's why I love the martyr. Rend the mark does one damage. Mr. Martyr, be a martyr. Take on Daniel's burden. Take on all of his bleeds. Take on all of his blight. Take on the stress which he totally didn't have and should needs to be a mechanic that for those sorts of abilities that they re they reapply and add and add and that sort of stuff. Take your blood, blonde. I expected you to go bloodlust again. Well, at least I know where the boss is now, and that this has been one entire big round roundabout road trip. One big giant roundabout. What am I call it? Rodeo. Word. Thing. Ah, Blighted Giant. Who goes first? Blonder. Well, Blonder, you're gonna, I'm afraid you're gonna have to mark that thing. Don't worry, guys. The only thing this, th it's basically two mega stressies and two guys that do, Jesus. That wasn't even a crit. Ah. And it didn't even manage, it didn't, it decided not even to whack someone. Well, it's a little, it's going to be dead now, but Blonder's attack is better used on someone else. Your left hag. What can you possibly do against us? 
basically nothing. We're full health, full stress, and... That's literally the only thing he can do which benefits him. It healed three HP and three stress. It's at times like this I really feel I should have given the... The Martyr a combat ability. There we go. Can't take the emeralds, can't take the deeds. I can't take anything when my inventory is as full as it bloody is right now. I can drop the shovels, actually. We've seen the entire dungeon now. We don't need the shovels. No, let's just move on. Hunger. You know what, guys? You're welcome to be hungry for the final bit of the, the, the dungeon. Summon a glass spider. This time you can, because there's actually things in the combat. That's what happens to your glass spider. It blows up, doing barely any damage, and causes one of your friends to bleed. I hope you're satisfied with your blood spider. Sorry, glass spider. Well, Mr. Spider. Dimensional phase. Ah, you made yourself stealthed. In other words, you're a little pest. Because there's literally nothing Daniel can do. Wander, murder. Because you can bypass stealth. And it can't and it doesn't know that. Hey Mr. Spider! Nice tricks. Nice try, but you're gone now. Sp Glass Spider Flute. Using harmonic resonance, this fragile instrument tune grants party bleed resist, then shatters. Huh! That was actually quite nice. Nice tune. Nice result. I see not the harm. Let's move on, everyone. Ah, yes, of course I would forget to send Zeric back, back to the very back. Makes sense for me to do such a forgetful thing. But you know what? It matters not when Daniel can potentially just one-shot the Queen. Bye-bye, Queen. 50% chance to just get regeneration. Nothing broken about that. Especially on a guy who's all about, HIT ME! HIT ME! Is Zeric even gonna get a chance to do a mighty attack? I don't think he is. Well, everyone. That was... a thing. Well done that. We'll get the aquatic spider carapace. Immune to aquatic spider diseases. Not bad. I've got so many crests. And deeds. And portraits, actually. No busts. No busts. Why is there a dungeon a dungeon after the boss? And why and this is how much I care about it. You must rely on I'm prepared to just kill my light. Just to get to it. What's in the heirloom chest? Nothing. Well everyone, well done! We've been spider slaying! And someone's gonna get marked by the flock. Hopefully two people, because we got encountered it twice. I obtained 72 crests, 12 deeds, and 10 portraits. Feels good. Daniel got marked by the flock. Out of anyone to get marked by the flock, Daniel is a very good choice. Why did I hear another thing effect happen? I'm getting all of these event, these town events to give me one of the the what am I call it heroes of the new class mods I've installed like um, are any in this list right now no actually no oh yes here we go a humunculus this one for a start which actually surprisingly might be pretty goddamn good in the uh, farmstead I'm not sure well everyone I'm afraid I'm all out of time for today's episode, but what a glorious day of spider murder it has been. We got one more quest to go in which they're planning to give me a trinket I already have. Summoning bottle five. Ah! 
it probably relates to the level of power of the the spider. So number five might not be too bad, actually. Well, either way, everyone, today has been a successful day of spider murder. And we've even managed to get Daniel marked by the flock. And you want to know the reason why it's so important Daniel is marked by the flock? Because he is a bounty hunter. And who has a bigger bounty on their head than the queen of an entire gang of brigands? You know? And besides, he's a man killer. And she counts as human. So, yeah. Well, everyone. What can I say other than thank you all for joining me today? I have been your host through this endeavour, the Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I hope to see you all again next time. But I'm afraid that, until then, it is time for me and Alistair to bid the all farewell, good day, and finally, good night.